Hello, this is Barbara Eastwick and we're talking about creating our first digital scrapbooking page using Photoshop. So we'll bring up our software and choose the Edit and Enhance Photos item from the menu. And to create a scrapbook page you can start with clicking File, New, and Blank File and then choose your page size layout but I happen to know that my scrapbooking paper is 12 by 12 so I'm just going to be able to bring it straight up and use that as my background. So I click on my paper, you click open, choose the paper from your hard drive and then click open. Then I'm going to add another paper so you click the little file folder, choose your paper and again click open. Now I'm going to crop this layer so all I do is go over here to my cropping tool and I'll make it full screen so I can see what I'm doing. And I just need to crop this large section here at the bottom and click the check mark. Now to get it back to the cascading windows you need to click the cascading windows button up there in the top right hand corner and then click the move tool button to get it back to where you can drag it from one layer over to our foundation paper. And then do it again. We'll be choosing this brown paper as our photo mat. And as it appears, I'm going to click the crop tool, crop my paper, click the check mark, and the move tool, and slide it onto my background. There. And let's go ahead and add some more. Open. And I'm ready for some embellishments. So I'll go to the Elements file and click on this ribbon and click Open and slide it onto my layout. And again, there's a nice tag over here I'd like to use and click Open. And if you pull it over here. You can slide it out of your way so that you can slide your uh, click and drag your element onto your page. And just click the X. If you're sure you don't need to edit them again, go ahead and exit out of anything. And add your photo the same way you did the elements. Just click open and use the move tool and then slide it over. And the photo's kind of in the way so I'm going to exit out of that too there. There's my layout. And we're ready to go so I'll use it full screen. And just begin moving your pieces around the way you like them. I'm going to set this down here at the bottom. And I'll put the ribbon here. And it's all click and drag so just move things around the way you wish them. Now I'm going to make this a little smaller and I think I'd like to give it a cute little turn. Just a whimsical turn. So I'm going to go to Image Rotate Free Rotate Layer and just turn it a little bit and then double click on it so that you can regain the ability to move it. there. And now I'm going to stretch my photo. If you hold the shift button while you pull on a corner, it will pull and stretch uniformly and resize correctly but without becoming distorted. And then to layer, arrange, bring to front. Now my photo's on top and I'll want to give it the same turn. So again I'll go to Image, Rotate, Free Rotate Layer and just give it a nice even turn so it matches the mat. And then double click to, to free it back on there. Now you see my my other layer is too small so I'm going to stretch my my mat there and just give it a nice little whimsical look and layer 
arrange bring to front we'd like the ribbon on top and I need that photo to go back one layer so layer arrange send backward and there it is it popped behind my border and I'll put the tag right here but you see I need to bring it to the front so layer arrange bring to front and now we're ready for the title and some journaling so I'm going to click on the text tool and create a text box and type my text this beautiful church is in Harper's Ferry I think it needs to be a little darker so I'm gonna highlight the text and you can change the color by clicking over here or you can I just want to darken this color and then click OK and I'd like to use that same color and font and write give this a timeline now you see I've got it on 72 points that'd be way too big and I'll type in my summer 2008 but as you see it's way too small so I made it larger to 24 points now to save it if I was going to save it to have it printed I would say file save as and then save it as a JPEG but for online viewing I'm going to save for web and this is a huge file it exceeds its ability to do this but that's okay we're gonna make it smaller it's set at 3600 pixels wide and that's just too wide so we'll go to 600 that's a nice online viewing size and click apply and it reduced in qual and there we go we're down to 36 percent so we'll click it up to 53 percent quality which is still less than 100 kilobytes and then S click OK and it brings you your save menu pick the file you wish name it and click Save and that's it there's our layout completed in Photoshop thank you very much